I'm Christine Knapp. I'm the Deputy Chief of Staff of the Philadelphia Water Department. So I work on uh, legislative affairs, um, special projects. Um, and I wanted to talk about a lot of things we're doing, but I'd really like to talk about the biggest thing that we're doing, the biggest cool project, which is our Green City Clean Waters program. Um, a lot of you might be familiar with it, but it's helpful to get everybody on the same page first, and then we could talk about a deeper dive of what we're doing. Um, so for those of you who are not in the know, ba basically our sewer system can no longer keep up with the demand that we put on it. And what ha happens is we end up putting shit in the river. Um, and so we need to stop doing that, and the federal government's requiring, requiring us to do that. Um, so how are we doing it is basically um, completely innovative for the first city in the country to get permission to use green infrastructure things that mimic how nature handles water rather than pipes and tanks um, or making bigger infrastructure like we already have. Um, so how, we're doing this through basically four main ways. We're building it ourselves. We're accessing public land, parks, rec centers, playgrounds, library schools, vacant lots, and using them to turn them into green spaces that manage stormwater. We're requiring um, new development to manage its own stormwater so we don't contribute to the problem. We're incentivizing existing property owners to retrofit their property um, they'll save on their stormwater bill, and they can even get grants from us to assist with the cost of doing it. And we're um, engaging partners to help build stuff for us um, that obviously there'll be a financial incentive for them to do so, um, but sometimes it just fits into what they're already doing. And, you know, it has a tremendous community potential in terms of our value and community engagement. Um, <clears throat> we, we, part of the reason we got such support for this program is because of the triple bottom line benefits that come with it for the environment, obviously, water quality, but also the additional green space is good for air quality. It's great for the community. We're adding new amenities. We're revitalizing spaces throughout the city. Um, and then also our economy. This is a cheaper alternative to building more expensive tanks and tunnels that only serve one purpose. Um, it's also investing locally instead of one big national company to come build a pipe. We're investing in lots of smaller companies that are here already. Um, and we're actually going to be you know, building more um, of this green infrastructure industry here. Um, so if you've got a new green roof technology, you're going to have business here. Um, and people are attracted to coming here to try out their, their new products. Um, and we're also creating jobs through doing that, particularly in maintenance, because all these trees and rain gardens need to be taken care of, and we need help doing that. Um, so we, we need your help. We want to be, we are the leader, we want to stay the leader, and we really envision for ourselves the ability to be a, a hub for research, for data, for design excellence, for job training, for innovation in this space. Um, Philadelphia's been the first in a lot of places, and then over time is lost out. We are not going to lose this opportunity. So we need your help. Um, look for opportunities to work with water, especially on any capital projects for city folks. Can we collaborate with you on your project? Connect us with anyone else you see that's doing work, specifically on public land um, or private land where we can add infrastructure. Connect us with organizations, community groups, nonprofits, um, finance groups, um, anyone who can help us figure out new models to get the stuff in the ground. Promote our work, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, um, help spread the message. We want more people to know about what's going on in their own backyard, and you can help us to do that, um, especially with when it comes to thought leaders. Help us uh, use our data, and that's a big um, thing that I actually wanted to do this whole talk about, but I kind of needed to start from point A before going to point B, but we have a ton of data. We want to help leverage it to get us more uh, benefit for our program, help us bring down the cost, help us get access to more land, help us you know, with new products, new designs that can help um, get us more effective green infrastructure into the ground. And so in six words, keep shit out of the river. <laughs>